In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an animated background for your stream. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Own.pro. On Own.pro, you can get a lot of overlay packs. They've got so many overlay packs that there's always something that will fit your needs. Are you a cozy streamer? They have cozy overlay packs. Are you a streamer that enjoys shooters? They've got something for you too. You can install these overlays just by one click and you can switch them out as many as you want. For more information and if you want to subscribe to Own Pro, link is down below in the description. You can also get 50% off if you use code TREE. I'll see you there. So if you want to make an animated background, what we need to do is to have an image that can loop. We can either find one on the internet or make one ourselves. I'm going to make one myself right now by going to Photoshop and making it 1920 times 1080. Okay, so now we have an empty canvas and I'm just gonna make it a color real quick. So now we have a color background, but we don't have anything on it yet. Hmm, let's add T-Dad. <laughs> here we go, T-Dad's in the house. And I'm just gonna add him in here. And then I'm gonna copy him a couple times. There's probably better methods of making sure this loops, <laughs> but I'm just gonna do it like this for now. Okay, the thing is, this needs to be like as much space everywhere all the time. And I'm not really good at it, but it doesn't matter. It's just for the sake of the tutorial for now. I'm not gonna put too much effort into this one. Uh, so this doesn't look too good. You can make it like really different. <laughs> uh, I would recommend you make it different than this. Just for illustrating purposes, I want to make sure that you guys can see what it does. So I made this quick image. Now we're gonna save it as. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop right now. Cow background. And make sure that you save it as a PNG. Now we're gonna go to OBS. Hello. I'm just gonna make a new scene for now. I know I have a lot of scenes in here, but that's just because this is where I test things and I show things to you guys. And we're gonna add a source and that's gonna be the image. Like it does matter how you call it, but right now for me, it doesn't really matter for the tutorial. So I'm just gonna leave it empty and we're gonna add this image here. Okay, so now it's a static image, but what we can do is we can go to filters and then click on the plus and add a scroll. Yes. Now if we do this, we can see it starts scrolling. We can make it super fast or not fast at all. We could go like both ways. We can also let it go vertically, but because I didn't make the cows perfectly, you see that there's more space here than it is here. <laughs> because I was like lazy and I didn't make it perfect. But if you want to make something like this, make sure that the images you add are the same distance from each other. So it does loop perfectly. So we can make it like go as fast as we want. Let's uh, make it not too fast. Here we go. Because otherwise, if we make it too fast, I don't know, it's just really distracting. And now we could just add something on top of it. So for example, if we want to add our camera. Boom. Oh, if I make this smaller and I put it in the middle like this, now we have our camera with an animated background behind it. But this is how you add an animated background. Like I said before, this video is sponsored by Owned and they do have a lot of animated overlay packs. So there is a lot of animations already included. So you don't have to make anything yourself. You can just add them with one click by using the Owned.pro plugin on your OBS. It's super easy. And because you are setting this up in OBS, my guess is that you want to set up more in OBS. So let's jump into this playlist and I'll see you there.